Hi, in this clip, I'm going to show you how to create buckets in which to organize your tasks into. Then I'm going to show you how to add those tasks to those buckets. Now, you might have already noticed up here, it says add new bucket. And yes, you're right. That's exactly where we want to go. We're going to click on that link and we just get this little bar to give our bucket a name. So we're going to go ahead and create our first bucket called financial performance. Let's go ahead and let's add another one. Green initiatives. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a couple more buckets, but you don't need to sit here and watch me, so I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, and I have created two more buckets for us, key management initiatives and the internal accounting report bucket. And now we want to move our tasks into their respective buckets. First one here, fiscal responsibility report. We're going to move that into this first bucket, financial performance. And to do that, we simply click on the card and hold down our left mouse button and start to drag the mouse and you see it's moving that card, and I can put it here, let go of the mouse, and it has moved that task into that bucket. All right, let's do it again. Let's take green facts. Again, I'm gonna hold down my left mouse button, start to drag to the right to drag that card, and I'm gonna drag it over here to green initiatives. And we're able to simply click and drag to move things into buckets, but that's not the only way that we have of adding tasks to a bucket. We can go to a task and open it up and I'm gonna click here on policies and procedure changes. And you see here it says bucket and we have a drop down list. Now right now this task is in the to do bucket, but I'm going to select the drop down and put this one into the internal accounting report bucket. So I simply click on that and if I Scroll over here, we see that it's been moved that way. Let's do it again. Let's move technology upgrades into green initiatives. And we can see that that has been moved there. So I'm gonna pause here now and I'm gonna move the rest of our tasks into the buckets and I'll be right back when that's done. Okay, all of our tasks have been moved into their proper buckets. And we have this bucket to do, which is here, which is left with no tasks. Now, I don't need this bucket, it's just taking up space. So if I wanted to ever delete this bucket or any bucket, I simply go up here to the ellipses. You see the three little ellipses there. And when I click on that, one of my options is delete and I can delete that empty bucket and now I have all of my buckets here and I can go through and look at the tasks and work with them as I see fit now up here in the upper right corner you'll see it says group by bucket when we select this arrow next to it, we have another option. We can choose to group by assigned to. And rather than grouping our page here by buckets, it will group our tasks by all of our individual members who have tasks assigned to them, and it will list all of their tasks that they have been assigned. Another nice handy way to view and organize the way you look at the tasks in your plan. And I even have a bucket for tasks that are unassigned. Now we don't have any that haven't been assigned, but if we did, they would show up here. And you can always go and switch back 
to have them being grouped by buckets. So now you know how to create buckets and organize your tasks into them. Thanks for watching.